bit bigger. And bam! Look how nice this is. So now I'm going to take again an arrow because as I said this is always a good option for stuff especially for YouTube thumbnails. Um, no I don't like the heart here. This one looks so let's go for another option. Let's say we choose this one. This one looks nice. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Now I also want this to be a little bit over here. Bring the coffee a little bit here. And you can see you can also change the coffee color. So let's say this brown is a little bit too brownish for this uh, background. So I can choose like, let's say this one. You see how <laughs> this one is actually good. But let's say... The uh, pink one is not that good, but let's say, no, I think this one is really good. So we're going to change this one to this color, leave this arrow, which is converting really well, almost in every design. So just use it. And that's it. I think this one looks really, really good. You can even put your little restaurant name right over here or your logo. You can put it here. You have tons of uh, space. So th that's it for YouTube thumbnails, guys. Let's um, do a logo option. So I'm going to go back. Just go here. And we are going to search. It's a little bit cut off, sorry. Okay, so we're back and let's choose a logo. So instead of YouTube thumbnail, I'm going to write logo. Oh, I don't think this is the right place. One second. How do I go back? Okay, awesome. So here, instead of YouTube, I'm going to write. That's it. Here's logo. And you can see that logo's dimension is 500 on 500 pixels, um, which is something I didn't know before Canva told me that. So again, awesome uh, option that they have. So... As you can see here, you have an amazing options of logos, logos that you can use and will look pretty much professional. I remember when I had to buy logos on Fiverr before I knew how to design and before Canva was uh, existing. So I used to uh, just buy logos and the logos were pretty much in this level. It wasn't that good. It was, I mean, it was okay, but it was in this level. And to be honest, I think the options over here are even better than what I used to buy on Fiverr from uh, all kinds of designers. So you see this one is actually really good for pets, bones and delights, pet store, it's just it all um, in categories by niche. So it's, it's amazing you can just choose your own niche. So let's go with coffee again. You have here the Mochamu coffee with the uh, Makineta right over here. It looks nice but you know I'm going to choose something else mm, let's go for that looks good eagle ace so let's say this is our logo and we can gonna change this one to um, our name for this video here we can also write YouTube channel you see how good this looks? You don't even change, need to change all kinds of stuff right away. You can change colors, but it looks so good that I don't think you need to do all kinds of changes anyway. But again, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do a chore because we, we passed through almost everything. So you know how to use it, but I just want to show you this last example. Um, so I can take actually this, delete it, and put anything uh, else. Because, you know, if we're, we're, let's say, a coffee place, we can... I mean, you can put an eagle logo, but it's done. It's not really related for your niche. So let's try coffee again. And here we can put our coffee logo. So let's say this one. Look how nice. Can do it a little bit smaller. Put it right over here. And now it's a coffee house. Look how awesome. Again, you can change the background. I don't know why I used yellow the whole video. I really like the yellow one today, but let's try something. Let's write green. Okay, so this is nice. Um, you can add like a frame. You can go to graphics and just write frame. And take like this. Oh, that's not what I want. Mm, like maybe square. Yeah. Bam. 
look you know it's even better look how fast was that and I mean all I did was putting a white frame you can even do it differently but I thought that the white is going to pop and I was right <laughs> so in one minute guys we just did a professional logo and it was all free so the last step is to download you can download you can share it right over the uh, web you can present it you can just post it to your Facebook page directly you can paste it on Twitter directly just an amazing software it's free guys use it um, yeah. another YouTube thumbnail excuse me for one second just need to place my microphone okay so what I wanted to show you is how you can design a poster so this is another option here in Canva. So I just clicked here on poster and I got here. And you can see you have all kinds of uh, all kinds of poster possibilities uh, here. It's uh, kinds of templates you can use. So let's say I want to go for uh, something like this. This one looks pretty interesting. Look at that. And uh, oh, I don't know why this one got black, but normally it's supposed to be with colors, you know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so you can see exactly how the design is uh, looked really, really well, really professional. And now uh, we can change all kinds of stuff here. So let's say we want to do, um, you know, what? let's take something else because I don't have enough room to write stuff here. So let's go for this one so this one is a poster about global warming you can see it's like a uh, let's see it says here seminar by green clean association so if you're running a seminar all kinds of seminar you can change all kinds of stuff here so let's say the seminar is about uh, dogs let's say we want to do the seminar about dogs I can change this right I don't have to use it I can just delete it we can go to elements let's first change this let's call it dogs um, event okay and I can also change the color of course you can see I just chose everything I can choose this color you can see how it looks this color this can also be black so for this example I'm going to change it to this one because I really want it to pop out so you can see it looks really well I can also duplicate it and do this and now all we need is a element so we can write here dog <coughs> sorry so you can see there's all kinds of free options here we can use so let's say um, I don't know, we can do this so it looks pretty good so it even matches my title but this one we're going to need to move let's do this you see I just put it over here and this I can take here right here so if I want I can also change the colors here so if his hair is not supposed to be blue I can make it black this one looks better um, we can change his skin to something different. Let's say if we want to make him uh, brown, we can do this. And if you want to make him lighter, you can do. You can just do this. And we can change his shirt as well. Let's see what we can do here. We can do it green. Oh, but this also changes the dog. So we can do this color, but they're not going to see it. We can do this color. We can do even something like uh, brownish let's do this this one looks pretty good and this one can change to let's say this or this or this so you see you can play with this can choose all kinds of options um, so for this option I'm gonna do this one <coughs> sorry and this one I want to delete and um, what I want to do right now is add maybe another thing here because this looks a little bit empty, right? And I also want to move this a little bit here. Now we're going to take in um, like all kinds of elements. We can like choose. We can